Today, we are honoring the men and women who died while serving in the U.S. military. And we take time to remember and recognize their sacrifice. Also, the issues and challenges that face so many other vets that just can't be ignored. Stephen Peck is president and CEO of U.S. Vets, and he's joining us now. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being with us this morning. On this Absolutely. Memorial Day, what is your message to others about the best way to honor veterans who have given the ultimate sacrifice? I've always thought that the best way to honor the veterans who have made the ultimate sacrifice is to help those who are still with us. Uh, we have been doing that uh, at U.S. Vets for nearly 30 years, uh, reaching out uh, to homeless and other veterans uh, who are at risk of homelessness. Uh, but uh, those who died uh, in war really died for our way of life, uh, for our freedoms. and. Uh, so to uh, honor them, I think uh, helping someone, uh, a veteran that's in trouble, is the best way to do that. Well, since U.S. Vets Unit was founded by veterans, can you talk about the work that you've done on the front lines to try to help them transition out of homelessness and into per per you know, permanent housing? Uh, veterans who are homeless or are about to be homeless need a number of things. Uh, we uh, do uh, build permanent housing uh, so that veterans can get in uh, off the street in a permanent way. We do transitional housing, uh, rehabilitation programs, helping them uh, with mental health, uh, with their substance abuse, uh, uh, getting them uh, back to work. Uh, and we do prevention work. Uh, we want to prevent veterans from becoming homeless in the first place. So we, we're reaching out to veterans uh, in communities, in the community colleges, uh, helping them uh, with uh, their schooling, uh, with uh, their mental health, with substance abuse, and, and getting them back to work so that they can uh, live a life of dignity and uh, honor. Oh, that's very good. And talk about your Hire a Vet initiative and how many people it reaches and how regular people can support it. Uh, the uh, U.S. Vets Career Network uh, was, was uh, created uh, a number of years ago. Uh, we're helping veterans who are uh, homeless uh, get back to work, but also those uh, who are at risk of homelessness or who are recently deployed and need help finding employment. So on the Career Network, uh, we do uh, a warm handoff uh, to employers. We have contacted hundreds of employers who would like to hire veterans. Uh, we help veterans with their resume, and we make a warm handoff. We send uh, HR departments a veteran who we know is qualified for the job. And uh, every year we're putting about 550 veterans back to work uh, through that program. That's fantastic. And you said you learned in the Marine Corps, if you don't go where the trouble is, you can't solve the problem. Do you believe that still holds true for you now? Uh, it's true. Uh, homelessness is a huge societal issue. Yeah. Uh, and many people just, I think, just throw up their hands and say, this will always be with us. We really have to look at it uh, in, a, in a very focused way. We have to kind of reverse engineer. Someone became homeless, became homeless because they couldn't pay their rent. They couldn't pay their rent because they had substance abuse issues or mental health issues. And so you, you want to go back to the very causes of homelessness uh, and look at that closely, provide those services so that the veteran can become whole again. Well, Stephen Peck with U.S. Vets, we'd like to thank you for being here with us today and thank you for your service as well. Absolutely.